This is Austin Scott, Bexfield agronomist for the Southern Territories, uh, and I'm still here at Dr. Uh, Larry Steckel's UT Crops uh, Weed Weed Field Day uh, down here in Jackson, Tennessee, and I just wanted to give you another uh, quick update on some of these plots I'm looking at. So we've all known of the the time of day effect that uh, that affects Liberty herbicide in Liberty Link soybeans, right? So uh, typically if you spray it early in the morning, this plot right here had 32 ounces at sunrise, uh, you can expect this kind of control. So there's a lot of Palmer amaranth pigweed uh, emerged through this plot, which is, which is expected, it's something we know. Uh, you step right over here to the 32 ounces of Liberty at noon, you have much better control. All right, that's, uh, that's been documented and it's something that we preach. It's kind of the, the banker's hours uh, that we talk about Liberty herbicide. You, you don't want to start spraying before 9 in the morning. You don't really want to sp uh, keep spraying past 6 in the evening uh, because you'll end up with a weedy mess. Something that, that's very interesting though is that time of day effect actually crosses trait platforms a little bit. So we've got an extend crop right here with 30 or 22 ounces of extended max uh, and 32 ounces of roundup power max applied at, at sunrise and you can see we've got a healthy crop of palmer amaranth pigweed emerged and growing in this plot so that's sunrise now granted that is off label uh, this is for research purposes only uh, you, you can't spray extended mics that early in the day anyways because the label prohibits it. Uh, but in a lot of situations, you can start spraying at, say, 7 or 8 o'clock. Uh, and we'll just relate that to this sunrise application right now because we step over here and look at the same herbicides applied at noon. It's a much cleaner plot. Uh, and there is significant pigweed pressure uh, in, this, in these studies. Uh, you can kind of see some of it in the run and check right there. Um, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention because I thought it was it was kind of a, a neat um, neat thing to, to see is the fact that there is a time of day effect uh, with, with other trait platforms other than just Liberty. So this is the extend platform. So uh, something, something good to, to know is not only from a regulatory point of view, uh, spraying sun uh, or se say seven to five, uh, is good from a, from a temperature inversion or limiting temperature inversions. Uh, it's also good from a uh, herbicide efficacy point of view. So again, if you have any questions, reach out to your local Bex representative or myself. Uh, and thank you for listening.